Hey guys, welcome to my first ever YouTube video. This video is going to be about all the inventory that we have for this upcoming restock. Even if you're not looking to buy from this restock, you can definitely hang out, watch the video. If you are purchasing from the restock, and that is why you are here. Welcome, hello, thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. I'll try and make it quick for you. We'll try and be in and out, but there are a lot of crystals. I mean, I had a literal ton of crystals in my house, like a literal ton like a thousand kilograms that's a lot of crystals and we just finished unpacking and pricing everything it took us weeks but we tried to make all the prices very fair i don't like to look at crystals as something you get a value deal on they are like literally thousands of years old some are millions of years old but we like i said try to price them as fair as possible i try and get the highest quality always some i have to suffer on the quality just to get a good price obviously they also come from all over the world so you will see minerals from all over the world if you have any questions put them in the comment section down below if you don't know who I am my name is Kenna I own Kenna's crystals I have a platform on TikTok and I have a platform on Instagram I don't really use the Instagram um, I'm not very good at it <laughs> let's do this thing okay so the lighting is not really the best today we've got some snow outside it just freshly snowed so we got that blue lighting but it's okay first thing we have over here they're hiding because there's only four of them we have some snow agate towers so these are gorgeous. There's only four of them, like I said. So if you want them, definitely request them. But I cannot guarantee that you will get them. With these mystery boxes, please keep in mind, guys, if you request anything, you may get it. And I would love to give it to you. But it is first come, first serve. After the snow agate towers, we have these scenic calcite towers. So these are chocolate calcite. They are massive. So if you want one of those, those are in the $400 to $600 price range. And then right next to that, we have dendritic orange calcite towers. These range from $55 to $100, I believe. And next, we have sphalerite towers. But these guys range from 44 to 99 I believe. The banding on these guys can get pretty unique and pretty cool and they all have a little bit of druze in them. They are really similar to Mexican crazy lace agate. Then next up we have these golden tiger's eye towers. These are all the same price and they will run you $36 Canadian. Next up, I have these bubblegum pink rhodonite towers. So this little guy here is $10 Canadian, but I think they do go up to $16. We have lots of green onyx as well. We have some sunstone in moonstone. These are gorgeous. So this is also known as bellamorite, and it comes from Russia. This is a Russian variety of moonstone. There is the sunstone, if you can see it, all the flecks. And it's really hard to pick up on camera, but there is a blue flash as well. Oh my Lanta, there she is. These guys will run you about an average of $33 Canadian. Then next up we have some Howlite Towers. We have some Unicorn Stone Towers, Blue Lace Agate Towers. These guys are really high quality. The ones at the back are about $202 and the ones at the front are like $36. We have lots of Kiwi Jasper. I bought a whole basket of these. There are so many. So if you want Kiwi Jasper, just know you're definitely going to get it. And then we have some banded orange calcite towers. These look like Caribbean calcite. I love these so much. And then we have some pink zebra jasper towers as well. Moving on, we have some mini satin spar towers and then we have some large satin spar towers. This one's a little wonky, so if you want the wonky one, let me know. Next to that, we have some gorgeous bloodstone towers. These guys are so freaking stunning. A lot of these big towers will run you between 50 to a hundred dollars. These moss agate towers here are a little bit cheaper. The moss patterning does vary between the towers, but they're all like super gorgeous, super high quality. Moss agate is not actually even an agate, it is actually a chalcedony. It's not an agate because there is no banding. This forward tower here is $44, so it just goes cheapest to the most expensive, so they're pretty affordable. Next to that, we have some red jasper towers. These are appreciated jasper towers. They are gorgeous. I love them so much. Super chunky, obviously. Everything on this row is super chunky. I love it. These will run you between 48 bucks and 100 bucks. Next, we have these pink and purple amethyst with flower agate. Like, it is just a combination of minerals. They are absolutely gorgeous. These are not cheap, <laughs> but they are definitely collector's pieces. You will not see any anything like them they are each very 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 unique this one is a great example i mean look at those plumes at the top it looks like a little octopus frozen in time but yeah these are just absolutely gorgeous one of a kind super high quality i mean take a look at this guy right here look at that druze with all the perfect perfect crystal points in there the plumes 
Oh my gosh, like it's just so gorgeous. I love this material so much. I have gotten it multiple times. It is very expensive, but so worth it. So if you do want one of these gorgeous babies, you will have to specifically request that in your order notes. But yeah, just as an idea, they range from 100 to 700. The next thing we have are these adorable kitty cat moss agate bowls. They are 144. They are super thick, super high quality. Um, I absolutely love them. I do only have 11 of these, so if you want one, of these please be sure to request it I also have a ton I bought a basket so I bought like kilos on kilos of carnelian I love these these are super versatile and then next up we have moss agate spheres we kind of have two different types so this is one type where it's that lacier moss agate and then we do have the deeper green moss agates so these are 55 and 65 but all of them are seriously so gorgeous this one is my favorite i mean look at that deep mossy green to the paler to the quartz oh my god i love the ombre okay next up we have some chrysocolla and malachite specimens so i wasn't a huge fan of the polishing that was done on these so when i purchased these in the live feed it looked like they were unpolished chrysocolla but they are in fact polished so the raw mineral is polished so we did reduce the price on that a little bit they are relatively affordable for chrysocolla we get into the more expensive range when we go to the chrysocolla and malachite because malachite is quite uh, an expensive material chrysocolla is also a little bit of an expensive material you are getting into the more high-end range so these are not the quality that i absolutely love and adore but i did want to get some chrysocolla and malachite pieces in because a lot of people were asking for it the price on these was crazy but they are just absolutely gorgeous just, I mean, look at that foamy ocean blue. Like, I just, I, I love it. And the banding, gorgeous. This one is another one of my favorites. Okay, moving on, we have some more towers here. First up, we have some pink Mangano calcite towers. You guys know these are UV reactive. Um, so these range from 14 to 18 to 26, I believe. So they're pretty affordable. Then next, we have some fire and ice towers. I meant freeform, silly me. So we have some freeforms and some towers in this material. Um, so this is just clear quartz. It was heated up and cooled down really quickly to give it this kind of crackle effect. Due to the heat treatment of it and the processing, of making it crackle quartz it invites in a lot of little pockets for rainbows so these pieces usually have tons and tons of rainbows so like I said we have two forms of them we have these little cube rectangles and then we have these more tower forms next we have flower agate they're all pretty unique the price range for flower agate is gonna run you about $12 to 22 being the biggest with carnelian we have I think six dollars is the cheapest one and they are cute little babies and then the biggest ones are about 44 keep in mind all these prices are Canadian if you are in the US you will find that all of these things will be much cheaper okay next rose quartz towers the price range on these guys the most expensive will be 25 and the cheapest I believe is 12 so we have lots of rose quartz towers lots of carnelian lots of pink mangano calcite so if those are something that you request I'm sure you will get it Okay, next up we have these chunky howlite towers. So these super chunky howlite towers are gorgeous. I'm obsessed with these. They will run you about $60 to $80. Next up we have some satin spar towers. So satin spar selenite, same thing. Same mineral composition, just different formation. We have the cheapest one being $13 and the most expensive one being $33. So these are relatively affordable. Okay, moving on. One of my suppliers said to me, Kenna, nobody wants to buy these i said give them to me okay so do not judge these beauties i think they are a little bit rough around the edges but they are some little druzy cubes i think they are so cute these front ones up here are four then it goes eight then it goes nine twelve twenty two and thirty three i believe they are a little bit of a charity case it's okay but you know okay Next up, we have these clear quartz clusters. Um, these are from Brazil. I was kind of shocked when I was pricing these how expensive they were, so I do not think I will repurchase, but these are just absolutely gorgeous. Like I said, the clarity of these pieces are so beautiful. This dog tooth point is to die for. And then I can just see this piece just sitting on someone's work desk just as like a source of immense energy and power. Like you would power through any work project with this on your desk. Homework, whatnot. This is amazing. Even on your coffee table. Okay, I can't hold this anymore. Even on your coffee table, that would look iconic. So if that's something that you want, let me know. It is 677 Canadian. And then I also do have a little smaller cluster. But yeah, the clarity, 10 out of 10.
beautiful, gorgeous, very high quality. Looks like ice. Okay, next up is a personal favorite of mine. We have all of these gorgeous carnelian slabs. So these are carnelian flower agate. They are just gorgeous. Look at that banding. I mean, come on now. So they do range in color. So the prices for these guys range from 24 all the way up to 98. Some of them are really unique. This one has a little bit of lilac slash blue coloring to it and the plumes are more pink. Oh my gosh, so pretty. Next, I only have a couple, but these malachite slabs are just gorgeous. Um, they are really expensive. This one right here is 198. Like, oh my goodness. Oh my God. Look at the chatoyancy, the way it like shifts in colors. Yes. I also have slabs of bellomorite. So this is the Russian Moonstone variety I was showing you guys before. It's hard to get the blue flash, but these are just gorgeous. Being that Moonstones and Sunstones are feldspar, you will see them together a lot. They are besties in the mineral world. Next, we have some spheres. We have Kiwi Jasper, Rhodonite. These are super pink, super gemmy. Some of them are completely pink, like these two back here. These are a silicate mineral. The black is just the mineral oxidizing during formation. It's really similar to Rhodochrosite. The way to tell the difference between Rhodonite and rhodochrosite is the banding also the color these spheres will run you $55 I think all the way to 77 next up something I am super excited about are these flower agate spheres they are so freaking gorgeous some of them have like really pretty juicy pockets some of them have gorgeous plumes some of them are blue flower agate some of them are carnelian flower agate like they are just the variety is just gorgeous a lot of them are blue though so if you're looking for some blue flower agate some dark flower agate um i got you on that i almost neglected the moonstone spheres i have four peach moonstone spheres and two little black moonstone spheres i don't know why i bought them or when i bought them but they're here oh actually there's two more in the back so four black moonstone spheres and four peach moonstone. <laughs> then we have some satin spar star bowls and some satin spar heart bowls. Next up we have some gorgeous rose quartz bowls. These are to die for. Some of them have a star. And then we have these adorable little rose quartz turtles. These are so freaking cute. They're chunky. They're really deep pink. I just love them. These guys are 55 Canadian. Next to those, we have some pyrite turtles as well. I think these are a similar price. No, they're 33. They are solid pyrite. We did reduce the price because some of them are not the quality that I was looking for. As an example, you can see that some of those guys in the back are a little bit rusty. Yeah, so we reduced the price of all of them so that the higher quality ones you get a score on and the lower quality ones you're getting exactly what you're paying for actually a little bit cheaper okay next up i have some selenite logs so these are satin spar selenite um these are great for charging your bracelets actually next we have these really unique spider selenite things i don't know what to call them i guess they're slabs but yeah these guys are super creepy super cool i love these so much i thought they were so cool these are huge chunks of selenite so they are a great deal okay moving on to the little cubbies we have some rainbow fluorite mushrooms so these guys are super cute these have a lot of depth dimension they are gorgeous I also got some moss agate mini goddess bodies. These guys are 33 Canadian. Then I have tons of flower agate freeforms, like tons, like a whole bin. They are so gorgeous. I also got some juicy agate spade towers. These are gorgeous as well. And these guys are self-standing. Tons of rose quartz moons. These guys are super chunky, super pink. Then we have some red aventurine moon stars and hearts. Rose quartz moon stars and hearts. And a lot of these have star flash. I'm so sorry for the lighting, you guys. I mean, honestly, I need like a ring light for the camera. These moss agate hearts are just gorgeous. I absolutely love them. And all of them are really unique. Oh my gosh. And we also have some basic pure quartz hearts. Some of them are golden healers. Some of them have some really unique inclusions. Next up, we have some blue tiger's ice spheres. We also have fire and ice spheres and clear quartz moons. I don't know. That's so random, the placement of all these bins, but you know what? It's working for me. Here is the fire and ice quartz sphere. Oh my goodness, so pretty. Here are the blue tiger eye spheres. They are just so gorgeous. I have little satin spar bumblebees. How freaking cute is that? Satin spar unicorns, and they're all in plastic so that they don't get scratched. And little satin spar butterfly bowls. Next up, we have pyrite turtles, snails, crabs, and spiders. They are so cool. We also have malachite slices and lumerian quartz points. The lumerian quartz points are a little bit more expensive, but if you're looking for those specifically, I have them. 
Next up, we have peach moonstone palm stones. Some of them are lighter, some of them are darker. They are all 11. And then we have some mini towers. I have two bins full of them. Next, we have some faceted hearts. So here is the rose quartz one and the clear quartz ones. They are super clear. And yeah, these guys will run you about 33. Next, I have a bellamorite palm stones and hearts. Little pop sockets for your phone. I literally have one on my phone right now. These mushy charms, I just got them as like a little freebie. They are so freaking cute. Then we have worry hedgehogs. My sister said they're creepy and they don't look like hedgehogs, but I absolutely love them. I adore them. I think they are so cute. And then I have all my crystal candy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Next to that, we have some howlite mushrooms and good lord, there are so many. These guys are about $8. I also have lots of clear quartz moons. These guys range in price from nine and 12. I have some mini Larmar towers as well. I have some really adorable pyrite on matrix specimens. These are so freaking cool. These are how they naturally grow in freaking insane. I also snatched up some rainbow obsidian hearts. Here's that puppy with some flash. I don't know if you can see. I don't know if you can see, but this guy's got some purple. It's so hard to pick up on camera. Um, this shelf over here, they're all discounted pieces, pieces that I wasn't like crazy about. Some of them are broken. Um, this one, oh my gosh. So sad, completely broken in half. Oh my God. I also got some really cool biscuit calcite specimens I'm showing you with flat, like a literal flashlight. They do glow fluorescent pink. Okay, here is a better example of that. Oh my gosh. This biscuit calcite is super cool. I've never had any in my shop before, so I'm excited to offer it. It is really expensive. So it's gonna be about, I think, 70 to $220. Next, I got some Indian blue apophyllite with some stillbite. I literally only have one amethyst cluster with calcite, but like, oh my God, it's gorgeous. Then I have pink amethyst geodes for days. These are from Argentina, which is the only place you will find genuine, genuine pink amethyst. Then next we have some peach satin spar carrots. These are so cute. I also got some satin spar planks. Like these are literally planks. But yeah, they are self-standing and they're great for cleansing. Next I have some really interesting clear quartz rutal towers. This one is a dog tooth tower. You can see the little hairs of rutal in the top there and then two straight black tourmaline hairs. So there are a couple of varieties of those and then there's a smoky quartz one at the back. I have some little random amethyst butterflies too. <laughs> we are coming to a close here soon, but we have some gorgeous pink mangano calcite specimens. I think the most expensive one is around $500 and then the cheapest one is around 55. Here we are with some darker lighting. It is a little bit hard for the camera to pick it up, but yeah, these glow fluorescent pink, they are so gorgeous. I wish you could see, but you'll have to see it in person. I also got lots of Oko Agate Geodes. These are absolutely gorgeous. These ones are pears, so they are really expensive. And then we have ones that aren't pears, but they are so freaking stunning. I have only one pyrite on quartz specimen. And we have some gorgeous sugar fluorite. So these are absolutely beautiful. They are so delicious. Blending is much better over here, but like, Oh, they are so sugary, so druzy. I just love them. This one, I really want to just take a bite out of, like, imagine how tasty it would be. These are so unique. The cubes on these are so, like, perfect and beautiful and sugary and yummy and oh my goodness. And they can get to be quite unique. I mean, look at the size of the cube on this one. Oh my gosh. It's like a little cave. I love it so much. So these are quite expensive, but they are quite worth it. Next we have some more, I would call this like a snowy fluorite because it looks a lot more snowy with that druzy. That druzy is a lot more opaque on top. Then we have some inner Mongolia fluorites. So these are extremely expensive, this front line here but they are just so beautiful. Look at the cubes on this. I don't know if I'll repurchase because these were probably the most expensive fluorites I have ever sourced, but I did want to have them at least once just to say that I had them. I did end up actually keeping a piece, but yeah, the cubes on these are perfect. They are really deep lilac. Oh my gosh. Just so gorgeous. Okay, next up we have some Barbie pink cobalto calcite pieces. A lot of them do have malachite growth on them as well. These range from 22 all the way up to 70, I believe, is the biggest piece. Last but not least on the shelf, we have some Preunite. These are so pretty, 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 pretty. They are so sparkly, so high quality. They range from $30 all the way up to 370 So if you want any of these more expensive pieces, you will have to be super specific in your request because I will happily put it in your box, but I won't unless you ask for it. And then obviously, I don't know if you guys have seen my collection, but my collection is on top of the shelves and they are just 
All these crystals are just so, so stinking beautiful. For those looking for more collector's pieces, I do have these rhodochrosite discs. These are super expensive. So are these towers because they are just straight up gemmy, gorgeous rhodochrosite. I mean, this tower right here, $3,000. So, yeah. I also have this gorgeous Mexican crazy lace agate slab. It is huge but the banding like this would be an amazing statement piece you could have this on your coffee table you could have this at your front door to bring you luck and blessings i mean you could meditate with this stone and just stare at the patterns all freaking day like take a look at that patterning oh my goodness next we have these dendritic calcite skulls and these orange calcite skulls so cute we have unicorn stone mushrooms and satin spar bookends i priced them at 50 i think that's pretty affordable and they are so great i stole a pair for sure because i have so many books i also have tons of really cutesy rings to this restock they are not sterling silver they are silver plated rainbow moonstone or white labradorite heat treated amethyst in citrine but these are faceted so they are so pretty sunstone really high quality sunstone really high quality amethyst and then a little bit of a lower grade amethyst and then we have just clear quartz faceted clear quartz and then faceted garnet i also have three pairs of pink amethyst butterfly wings i also have these really cool coasters if you're someone that drinks a lot <laughs> or you have wooden furniture or coffee table this would be perfect these are engraved and they are just so pretty i also will have incense available pink opal hand card animal carving so there's butterflies and turtles they are so cute these guys are so unique and so interesting i have little weightlifters a dragon on a sword on pyrite these guys are 27 dollars and they are so freaking cool we have little runners soccer players i'm not sure what this is but i had to get it so cute and then i also have some Pyrite on quartz trees. They are so adorable. Lots and lots and lots of blue and agate. These are actually from South Africa. Yeah, lots of different price ranges. Some have tons of juicy. Some are just a little peak of blue. Nonetheless, these are gorgeous. Okay, last but not least, we have some Uruguayan amethyst. We do have cut base pieces. Oh, I almost forgot. I do have some labradorite carvings as well. This one is a sun and a moon. I've also got some labradorite lips and labradorite butterflies. I hope you guys enjoyed this type of video. I'm really excited to see what you guys come up with in your order notes. I'm just really excited to intuitively make these boxes for you guys. I think it's going to be so much fun. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up so I know that I did a good job. And I guess I will see you on the next one. Okay, love you. Bye.